Lost Kingdom is an often forgotten GameCube classic made by the developers of the Dark Souls series and Bloodborne and today I'm going to talk to you about this awesome game from my video game collection. So what is Lost Kingdoms? Well, it's an action role playing game about a princess in a fantasy realm who must embark into this mysterious fog trailing after her father, her the, the king, because she is the princess in order to help save her kingdom and you utilize cards to do battle, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So when did this game come out? This game came out in the sunny year of 2002 and there was the other games that came out during that year that I was purchasing and playing on my GameCube including Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, Bloody Roar Primal Fury, Resident Evil, and of course Long Lost Kingdoms and all those games were leading up into, I believe, May 2002 when Lost Kingdoms came out. Now, one game might stand out in particular, but Bloody Roar Primal Fury was published by Activision, and I was a huge fan of Bloody Roar games on the PlayStation, and Activision, back in that day, published various games. And then when I saw Lost Kingdoms, and I saw that Activision was publishing this, and that made me take a closer look at Lost Kingdoms. But I picked up Lost Kingdoms because the GameCube did not have that many role-playing games, uh, that many games that kind of was similar to Lost Kingdoms. And uh, I went, you know what? I love role-playing games. I love action RPGs and, and those kind of, uh, you know, genres. So might as well pick this up. What is there to lose? So on launch day, I went ahead and grabbed Lost Kingdoms threw the mini disc into my GameCube and started playing it and I was not disappointed. This game is a bunch of fun. Now I never beat it and I actually tried to go back and play it where I left off. I, I restarted, uh, not restarted, but I had my save file from 2000, 2002 and I just continued where I left off. I didn't really know what I was doing. So in preparation of making this video I started a new file and then just fell back in love with the gameplay. It's pretty simple. There's cards, there's enemies, there's random encounters, you're kind of in these mini-maps fantasy setting. You're Katia, or Katia and she is an awesome princess throwing these cards out, being able to command these monsters. If you're a fan of Magic the Gathering, the card game like I am, then this is like Magic the Gathering come to life. And I think that's what really drew me to it because I'm seeing these goblins attack and these grass creatures and these werewolves and all these kind of things that you're commanding with your four face buttons of your game you, game you controller and you, some of the the creatures are used as weapons where you just there's one-time uses but uh, other ones uh, you can summon them they have these cool little animations like the werewolf and uh, even the the third type of cards are independent you toss these cards onto the battlefield and they'll roam around battling other monsters like this plant creature until either they die or the opponents die so they're pretty much ride or die these these creatures uh, and it's just really fun balancing between those three different types you get to build your own decks your cards will gain experience points as they beat enemies you obtain jewels you obtain these other secrets the maps have treasure chests i mean there's just so much to do in this little small uh, often forgotten game that i have really enjoyed the copy of the game i have now is my second copy. Over the years I was young and dumb and naive and I got rid of a lot of my GameCube games that I'm sadly am missing to this day but Lost Kingdoms a couple years back I checked out eBay and found a copy and got it sadly. It does have like a kind of a scratch on the cover uh, but you know I can deal with that one day I can replace the case and it, it is missing the booklet, uh, the instruction booklet which I remember in enjoying. I like the GameCube instruction booklets and Lost Kingdom. I remember reading this, you know, when I wasn't playing it in order to hype me up for this game. And so maybe one day I'll be able to get a hold of the instruction booklet for this. But for now, I'm happy to have this back in my collection uh, after having gotten rid of it. And I do have like one personal anecdote about this when the game came out. I remember my younger and older brother uh, playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts during that time. My older brother had a PS2, a PlayStation 2, and my younger brother and him loved to play Kingdom Hearts. But around the same time, I was a huge GameCube fan, and I had to trumpet the GameCube horn because not a lot of people were doing so, at least in my area, and I bought Lost Kingdoms instead. So when people were asking me, what game was I playing Kingdom Hearts, you know, at school, I would tell them, I'm playing a Kingdoms game, but it's Lost Kingdoms. And they would look at me like, oh, we don't know what we don't know what that is. What are you talking about? Uh, but I knew what it was, and I had a lot of fun 
Again, the focuses of this game, the things that I remember from this game, is definitely the usage of cards, the music, the battle music is great, the menu music is good, the, there's a, a lot of challenge in this, trying to figure out how to balance things out. There's strategy and depth with the cards, they have different ele elements, and you know, they're weak against one or the other, and just the usage of cards to do combat was really nice and pretty unique at that time and that's something that has stuck with me to this day. I will definitely go ahead and finish this game one day in my life. That's the plan, and perhaps even I will pick up the sequel. The sequel came out like a year later. I did not get my hands on it, and it's kind of super crazy expensive, so I don't know if I'll ever luck into getting Lost Kingdoms 2. But for now, I would just lo love to say that I enjoy having this, again, back in my collection. It is an action card role-playing game that I thoroughly enjoyed, Still need to finish it, a lot of love for it, and like I said at the top, from software, the developers of Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, they developed and created this game, published by Activision, but created by From Software, and I don't think a lot of people remember this, before they were known for all these super hard, crazy uh, action role-playing S games, they created this small, unique gem on the Nintendo GameCube. Now let me know in the comments, do you play, did you play Lost Kingdoms? Do you enjoy this type of game? Do you, do you like action role playing games? Did you know this is made by From Software? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I would love to read it. So that's going to be another game from my gaming collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for joining the party, listen to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next exciting collection video.